Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A nice little Tuesday market talk video for you guys. We have some things to look at in the market because there are some prices from these new cards that are in the game, these Road to the Final items uh, that have gone up in, in price. Crazy, crazy amounts. Usman Dembele, one example, almost up to a million coins right now in the market. Basically, the second set of Road to the Final cards went up or went out of packs and um, all the freaking prices are going nuts. Now, I mean, this is definitely people realizing these cards are super rare. I think part of this has to do with just people investing in the cards. Um, and also, it's just due to the fact that these cards are super duper rare. So if anybody wants them in their team, they're having to pay the big bucks for them because they know these are live items. They know this is going to continue to get upgraded uh, throughout the Champions League this year. And they know that at least a few of these cards were only in packs for a few days. So actually, if you go over here and check this one out over on the footbin situation, which is this road to the final set number one. Son, Dybala, Mares, Sancho, Allen. Allen is 439k. Militao is up over 260,000 coins from when he was at his very lowest. Juan Jesus has doubled in price. And Danovich is 70k. Usman Dembele has gone from 800k to a mil. I mean, all Nerez has doubled in price. He was, he was 60k, and now he's 114. Honestly, boys, these prices are unbelievable. Crazy. Uh, I would have never guessed that this would be the type of rise that we would see on these Road to the Final cards just out of packs. Now, mind you, they've only been out of packs for... This set's only been out of packs for a mere number of hours at the recording of this video. Some Goretzka's up 100K. Martial's up like 70K. Torreya's up a bunch. Marquinhos is up a ton. I don't understand this one because this card is not that good. We already have Thiago Silva. I mean, are people actually using Thiago Silva and Marquinhos? I don't understand that. Uh, Thomas Party has gone from 140 to 200 Bale hasn't moved too much. The pie's up a bunch. I mean, it's just crazy um, the amount of movement on these cards uh, that we have seen. Actually, they finally put Depay in the Footpin team. Foot, uh, Depay wasn't even in this in this team before uh, on Footpin, which is crazy to think about. But we finally got that card into the Footpin squad, and these cards are literally going insane. So if you guys have any of these cards, G freaking Gs. Um, I think I was scared to buy these cards because they were too high, so I didn't really buy any. And they have gone out of packs. Uh, they've done a, an absolute madness um, at 245k for this Torreya. As you can tell, a lot of people are selling these cards right now. When you see a lot of these second owner tradable uh, items on the market, that means that somebody has bought it and they are listing it up to sell it um, as an investment, basically, is what I see for a lot of these. Second owner tradable, second owner tradable, you know, a lot of stuff like that. So there's probably a lot of people taking the money on these cards. And if you're somebody who has invested in some Tereas or maybe some Thomas Parties um, and you're looking to take the money, I think you want to take the money decently soon. I think some of the hype on this price uh, for these cards is built up, honestly, because of the fact that UCL games are coming next week. We do have more Champions League games coming in this next week, which people are thinking, hey, maybe if somebody acts, because uh, after match day five, some people's positions are like literally locked in. They're going to be going on to the knockout rounds. Um, so some of these games are probably going to have some um, road to the final implications involved with them. You know, maybe Real Madrid, PSG, that's going to be a big game. Juventus, Atletico Madrid, but some of these games are going to have instances where if you look at some of the standings in the groups, um, it could be big for whether a team moves on or not. The PSG Real Madrid won't have too much um, of a, an impact, but Atlanta versus Dynamo, that's got a huge game if you did that road to the final SBC for Papu Gomez, which I do not think was worth it, purely because if he's, he's not going to get an upgrade. Uh, in Champions League, could go to your Europa League, but they have to get third in their group to even go to Europa League. So we'll see if they can even get up to that point. Uh, Juve and Atletico, that'll put a clear winner up. Bayer Leverkusen, kind of interesting with this one. They're tied right now with Locomotive, so people are going to be watching that Wendell card. And again, when we have these games next week, I want to touch on this right away. When we have these games this next week, watch for some panic selling on some of these cards. Like uh, Road to the Final Cell 1, Let's say that Wendell and Leverkusen, let's say that that team wins 
um, or you know even draws, and there's a possibility still that that team might not make it out of the group stages, you're probably gonna see this card's price drop if they draw or if they lose. Now, if they lose, obviously we looked at the, at the standings over here. If Bayer Leverkusen loses, uh, that could be a big problem for their point total, but they could still maybe sneak up into third. The next match week just depends. Um, who are they playing this week again? Matches. Bayer Leverkusen. Who are they playing? So Bayer Leverkusen actually plays Locomotive. So if Bayer plays Locomotive and they draw, or if Locomotive wins and it goes up to... Um, that would be crazy if Locomotive wins and they go up six points and Bayer's still at three. That would make this group crazy crazy interesting but especially for a Wendell left back card but uh if they draw that could be a very interesting scenario there so just just watch there's going to be movements around these cards in this next week because of the fact that they're going to be playing so if you have some of these cards right now and you're up big on them I think I would consider taking the money or at least taking the money really soon because it's honestly incredible how much some of these cards have risen in such a short time period. I mean, these cards were rare. We knew that. We knew that they were rare. We knew that they were going to rise out of packs. But I don't think we really thought it was going to be this much. And this is just a testament to how rare they are in the market. And I'm still not a fan of them, boys. I'm still going to be honest. I'm not a fan of these cards and how rare they are. Yes, it makes them fun to trade with. They're going to fluctuate a lot when they're rare in price, especially for, you know, maybe somebody who is um, very desired in this game like Alan. This is going to make these cards very easy to trade with because of fluctuations, but it's making their prices very, very high. And the reason why I'm saying I don't like it is because a lot of you guys want these cards for your teams. And I do not feel comfortable saying, hey, go out and buy this card at this price at the moment to get for your team. Uh, because I feel like it's very possible that they could re-release these cards into packs at some point or do something with these cards over Black Friday. I think that is a possibility. Or even if during a Champions League week, like maybe this next week for Champions League, we'll see that premium upgrade SBC come out. Uh, that'd be a perfect coin suck to take coins off the market before Black Friday. So maybe we see that SBC come out this next week and these cards would be packable from that SBC. Untradeable albeit, but still a chance to pack one. So that's something that um, we might have to kind of look at as well. Although we don't have any other UCL cards yet to pack from like a UCL premium SBC. We'd only have these road to the final items in like UCL blue cards. We don't have any man of the matches or anything like that yet. So not sure if we'll see any of that yet, but it's a possibility, I suppose. Speaking of Alan, I want to mention something about his card right now. Um, there are rumors that this man is going to be or could be transferring to PSG. Okay, that would be unbelievable. If he actually transferred for PS to PSG, the FIFA ramifications of this card would be unreal. Perfect link to Neymar. Can you just imagine a perfect link to Neymar at center mid linking to your Neymar? I mean, Neymar's price would go nuts. This card's price would go nuts. And the main question behind that is, if Allen transfers to PSG, will he retain his road to the final card? Um, and will it get updated to be a PSG card? And I want to answer that question for you guys right here. Give you the stats straight from EA's website on road to the final. Their question is, frequently asked question, what if a player transfers? If a player transfers to a club not playing in either tournament, they will no longer be receiving upgrades. PSG, however, is in the tournament as of now. So if Allen does end up transferring in the winter window to PSG, this states to me that he would retain this road to the final card and that he would just basically the badge would change to PSG. Maybe they give him a different dynamic image after he plays for PSG, but this card would retain its live upgrade ability. It would not go unupgraded um, if he did transfer to PSG. So I wanted to point that out to you guys. A lot of people have questions about that. That would completely change the game of FIFA if he transferred to PSG. It's crazy how one transfer could, uh, could change a lot of stuff, but that card would retain it would gain a lot more value if he was um at psg i mean right now napoli great he's he's brazilian good links but if he was at psg that takes his links to a whole nother level so just wanted to mention that uh, to you guys i know some people had a lot of questions about that card and about uh that possible transfer scenario situation but again if you have any of these road to the final cards my gut is telling me 
Some of them are up so much, I think you want to get out of them maybe after Thursday rewards. Obviously, they're not going to be in rewards on Thursday because they will be out of packs, which they are right now. But that's going to be when people might have some coins and maybe go splurge and buy one for their team or whatever. Militao is 660k, and the fact is that these cards are selling, man. They're not just sitting up here at that price. They're actually selling. So it's honestly insane. Uh, but this honestly puts some faith in me as well. This gives me faith for how many coins the market actually has because if people are going out and buying this version of this Militao card instead of his, what, seven or 8,000 coin gold card, that shows me that people have coins that they're willing to spend on stuff like this. And that gives me hope and that makes me happy because that means this market does have some coins. We haven't even had any lightning rounds yet this year. Uh, to be honest, the amount of promo packs that we've had open has been pretty low as well. We haven't had really good promo packs for either of the promos this year. Uh, the supply on the screen cards was very dead. The supply on these Road to the Final cards was very, very low as well. So that kind of gives me a little bit of hope. Somebody mentioned, I saw like in a Twitch chat or, or some sort of comment today, do you feel like this, these prices going up pushes the rest of the market up? To that, I'm not really sure about. I mean, if you look across the market today, uh, the market index on foot, the index 100 um, over on foot bin, it's stuff is really just kind of staying the same. Like the market is just kind of flatlining. I mean, last night you had uh, squad battle rewards, so the market was a little bit low. We had a little bit of rebound after that. And then still, we're kind of in a lower period on the market. Of course, the 83s and the 84s are still inflated at the moment, uh, but they are coming down. As you can see, a lot of supply last night picked it up again today. We had another SBC come out today, the Juan Mata SBC. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but again, 83s are high, 84s are high even as well because of the SBC. And that's kind of, you know, when the when the SBC fodder cards are inflated like that, it makes at least the foot bin graphs. You kind of have to remember that those 83s and 84s are inflated and it's kind of changing the way that that market number reads because you have to factor in that those cards are inflated. Now we got this SBC today. Juan Mata, 5'7", lefty, 4-star skills, 3-star weak foot. Looks like a pretty solid card, to be honest. He's got great acceleration. He's going to feel very good on the ball with his agility and balance. Great stamina, great composure, great passing. I mean, he is a really good center attacking mid kind of card. But I do believe right now he does cost somewhere on like 120k, if I'm correct. 123,000 coins for the flashback Juan Mata card. It's a bit above my liking, but... You can tell by the way that the market moved again today. We looked at the index 83. We can look at the index 84 as well over here on Footbin. You can tell that a lot of people are doing this SBCs. This is like one of the this is like the price range where EA makes I'm going to say predominantly most of their player SBCs throughout the year. EA puts them into this kind of price range. You think about um, the other flashback SBCs we've had this year, except for um, one of them was pretty cheap. I think Mascherano was like a 70 K that was kind of cheap, but in that hundred to 200 K range is a perfect range for EA because they're taking a decent amount of coins off the market when they do that. But also it's not, not too expensive for a lot of people. I talked about this with Konate as well. Konate is in that perfect range where, Hey, you know, I can go drop 100K on this card or I can do it for 70K with cards in my club and I get some packs back. So it makes people want to do it. But EA is still very effectively sucking a lot of coins off the market, making people uh, lose coins technically and trade in those coins that give you power and value in this game, trading it in for a card that you can never sell um, back onto the market and get coins for. So you saw the 84 today rise a decent chunk. Some of them are still high. Under the initial hype you saw here for the first couple hours, it is back down a little bit. But th there's definitely people that did this SBC. Every time we get a Manchester United SBC, there's going to be people that go out and do it. I mean, I tweeted today, there's your link to the, the, the Scream Chong. I know a lot of people did that Scream Chong card because it was 20K. Now you have a card uh, to link it to, uh, which was kind of a banter tweet. But uh, still, a lot of people go out and they do those SBCs. And uh, there's definitely... A population out there that does a lot of the Manchester United SBCs just because they're a Man U fan or, or whatnot. So that is something I wanted to point out today as well. Actually, this rush is getting very cheap, 405. If I see an undercut on that, I am going to be a buyer. Icons are kind of cheap right now as well. Um, a lot of them have been trickling down. It seems like maybe people are selling icons and going and buying um, some of these 
road to the final cards just because I think that the hype of these cards, again, just like last year and years past is um, the upgrade possibility. But the, we have to wait so long for these upgrades. That's why I, I'm not a huge fan of them. I think there's going to be at some point in the next couple of months another opportunity to snag these cards. And honestly, if you want to buy them, uh, right now they just seem way too overpriced. Like 70, over 75% of those cards just seem way, way, way too overpriced for me, even when they were in packs, just because they were so rare. And that's why I feel like EA has something up their sleeve with those cards. Um, and maybe like a second, somehow a second pack supply of those cards. Again, if you want to invest in the team of the week this week, hopefully today on Tuesday, we get some sort of content in, that like gives us packs. We're talking like a league SBC, uh, that would be perfect, like MLS or Champions League or Championship League SBC. That would be perfect. Um, get some supply for some of these informs. People have already um, bought up the Telez, Robertson's up. Um, even I think this right back from the, the Kappa, is that his name? He's up a little bit. Ricardo Pereira is up a little bit. Those are the obvious investments from this team of the week. Looks like people have already got in on them as well. So. People are investing right now. People are trying to make coins, and they know that this team of the week is rare, so they're trying to take advantage of it. I would just be careful again, boys. My favorite thing right now to do in the market is to get liquid. I have a lot of my coins. You see, I've been trading. I sold a couple icons here. I did some flipping last night with Squad Battle Rewards. If you guys were in the stream, I was getting Lacazette, a guy that's like 24K, Langlais at 60 and under. All these Langlais were at 60K. Um, I undersold these Dobinsons. Got these for like 7,000 coins, and he's actually up to like 8,900 right now. So who would have known that a uh, Road to the Final player would impact your Road to the Final Yoris, maybe making this card rise up a little bit. Um, but I just think it's an 83 who's getting packed a lot, and his price is just continuing to go down. But he did rebound a decent amount from Squad Battle Rewards. So Squad Battle Rewards bidding and trading is still alive. We do that every Sunday night on the Twitch stream. Check that link down in the description below because I am streaming there multiple times per week uh and yeah boys make sure you stay tuned to the twitter as well check that link down below in the description get in the discord as well just click all those links that are down there below the stream if you like this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace